Baby, it's cold outside. We need a fire. Basically, I'm out here burning off this garden, and you can see right over here how I use this border to contain the edge. So I'm headed to the shop because I heard the boys in there and they're making a lot of noise. I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. So they're in there with the chipper taking those big old dried out corn that we got from the field and they're grinding it up in that chipper. Chickens won't really eat the corn, the dried corn we got from the field. So I think they decided, let me try to grind this up into little pieces. And when they got done grinding all that corn up, it's all in this big old, big old trash can. And guess what? The chickens actually love it. So we're here to pick up a rooster, a free rooster. I don't know, but he's a big old dude. All right, guys, even though it's been getting some cold snaps, this tomato plant is still alive. I've got a lot of new stuff. Well, this is a trick I learned. You take a water bottle and you cut it in half. And so that you don't want to just cut this off and then try to plant it. It will most likely die, but you're still getting nutrients from the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back and we're gonna to try to save this and replant it. So what we're gonna do here, and you can always cut this off later as this starts to take root. Now, we're gonna take some soil and pack it down in here. And you may have to like clog this bottom up and get it compacted at the bottom so the soil don't just fall out. So we're gonna pack this full of dirt and water it and it'll start to take root. And once it does, we can cut it off. So it is fixing to be really cold. So it is time to cut these tomatoes. So I tried to light the fireplace and the power light wouldn't light, wouldn't spark anything. So I had to take it apart. So this is what we've got here, guys. Now basically this screwed in here with two screws that you used a screwdriver through these two holes to hold it in place. The reason why I've got this apart is because this wire here come off of there. So we're getting no spark to light our pallet. So once the strung got these electric connectors and I put them on the wire. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. Subscribe if you hadn't already. Till next time, God bless.